Okay, um, today I'm going to talk about a topic that most people normally don't want to talk about, um, and that is sexually transmitted diseases. And in particular, we're going to talk about gonorrhea and chlamydia. I know it's embarrassing, you guys, but sometimes if you do think you've gotten infected, if you do think you um, are at risk for having something like this, then do yourself a favor, get the peace of mind, and get tested. So let's take a look at these two, okay? Like I said, we're going to go over um, gonorrhea and chlamydia. We're going to go over gonorrhea first. With gonorrhea, uh, there's a couple different nicknames for it. It can be called the clap, uh, the drip, dose, strain, gleat, or a lot of people call it the whites. Um, it has an incubation period of around 1 to 14 days, and it's caused by a bacteria. And that bacteria can cause infections in men, women, and even new babies. So if, uh, if the mother has it, then it can actually be present in the new baby. So um, it's very easy to pass along with sexual partners and, um, and babies during childbirth. So um, symptoms in men, uh, normally they'll get a discharge from the penis. It can be thick or uh, nor it can be milky white, yellowish. Sometimes it can be greenish. And um, a lot of times men will complain that there is burning while they urinate. Um, some of the complications in men, if it's not treated, you can get swollen or tender testicles, and you can actually, your, your testicles will swell up almost to the size of a grapefruit, and um, uh, you can get an infection as well. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce that there. In <laughs> um, women, usually they're um, asymptomatic. They, they may have painful urination. They may have um, abnormal bleeding or painful sex. And um, they can actually get something what's called um, Bartholin's abscess or uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, both of which are, are not good to have and um, can, can be rather painful. So um, like I mentioned earlier, a mom can pass gonorrhea along to her child during childbirth. So um, it is very, gonorrhea is very easily uh, tested for and treated. Um, they basically, they do a test, or they'll do a, a urine test or a swab and it can be easily cured with antibiotics, but any damage that has occurred to the body it cannot be repaired. So it's important that if you think you do have an STD like that, then to go out and get checked so that you can um, you know, get it taken care of before any permanent damage occurs. Now with chlamydia, um, it can cause infection the same way. Men, women, newborn babies, it's also caused by a bacteria. The incubation period is a little bit longer. It's two to three weeks and people can uh, pass it you know, to each other through sex and also a baby can get it during childbirth. Um, symptoms for women, um, normally they might have a, a little bit of an abnormal vaginal discharge and they can have pain during sex. Um, with men uh, with, and with women they can also have the, uh, same, the same pelvic inflammatory disease which is basically where uh, if I understand it correctly, one of the fallopian tubes gets uh, swollen or gets enlarged. Um, with with men, um, usually they don't say, have symptoms. Um, they can uh, sometimes if they do, they're going to have discharge from the uh, penis. Again, it can be a little bit runnier. It's not as thick, and uh, it can be whitish. And of course, there's burning on urination is another uh, common complete uh, or another common complaint. And um, complications, if not treated, could be swollen and tender testicles. So um, very, very similar symptoms for both of them. And uh, testing and treatment with chlamydia, uh, urine test or a swab, you can find it the same way. They're going to give you antibiotics if you have them. And again, any damage to the body cannot be repaired. So you guys, if you think you have an STD, get it checked. Okay, call this number 877 236 1460. It's a private, discreet way to get tested. This company has, um, they have locations in every single major city in the United States. They normally have three or four locations. And the, the best part about it is a lot of people get embarrassed to get tested. It's, and, and a lot of people are scared to get the results, actually. But once you get the results back, it can be tested, you know, and you can be tested for it, and you can be cured for it. You don't want to do permanent damage to your body. Now, if you're embarrassed about getting a test like this, um, when you call this number, they'll give you a location that's close to you. What's what's cool about it is they don't actually they don't just do STD 
um, tests there. So if you're going in and out of the facility, nobody knows whether you're going in to get tested for uh, diabetes or the flu or whatever it is. They, they run hundreds of tests out of these locations. So um, if you feel like you're going to be embarrassed because you're because you're going into a place to get tested, nobody knows why you're going there. So call the number. If you feel like you might have been exposed, if you're having uh, urination, um, you know, if it's burning during urination, if you're a guy or if you have any kind of discharge, definitely want to get it checked out. If you're a woman, you have excess bleeding or painful intercourse, please get yourself checked, do the right thing, be responsible, and call the number. Okay, guys, so that was a that was a video that I did. This is for my piggyback video people now. So that was a video that I did for a uh, company that was doing STD um, testing. They have STD centers, testing centers all across the country. So um, basically, I made that video in 10 minutes and 14 seconds, and 5 minutes and 45 seconds of that was actually video. And I've and um, that's basically recording the video. So out of 10 minutes and 15 seconds, five minutes and 45 seconds was spent actually recording the video. So um, that's how quickly you can create videos like this. And you know the video, it's not your standard typical um, PowerPoint video. This is a video that kind of zooms all over the screen. If you watched it, or if you want to watch it again and kind of see how things move around, it looks way more professional than somebody sitting there and talking over a PowerPoint screen. Um, you know, I I did change some of the content in there because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, um, c you know, violating any copyright laws. It's entirely up to you. If you want to just grab somebody's uh, content and put it up there, you know, I'm cool with that. But that's between you <laughs> and the uh, the FTC. So. Um, I recommend changing things just a little bit, but again, even with that, it took me 10 minutes and 15 seconds to create a 5 minute and 45 second video that looks polished. It was researched. I didn't do any of the research for that. Somebody else did it. I'm basically just piggybacking off of their work and creating new content for a customer of mine. You can use it for affiliate marketing, upload these things to YouTube and put your link below it. Um, you're creating good quality content videos, which is what Google likes. So hopefully that helped you guys kind of get an idea of what your, uh, the type of videos that you can build with piggyback videos. And if you're interested in creating unlimited content very, very quickly, unlimited video content very, very quickly, then, um, you know, keep going down below and click on the buy button. All right. Thanks.